minim 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 minimas minil minimas minizal minizalis minimalism Hello everyone, so today I'm here on this lake and I was here, uh, this is not my first time, last time I was with, with Sebastian and uh, we were here for a uh, sunrise and as you remember we, a lot of ants, I started again, as you remember we were searching for rocks and we make a lot of rocks here for a foreground, but today I don't want to make any sunrise or sunset because it's cloudy and now it's yeah, it's so, so so late for a sunrise. Uh, what I will do today is, this is the first time I think, I will try something like that, is minimalism, <laughs> as you uh, have just seen from the title of this video. I wanted to search, actually, I wanted to search for rocks to make only a rock, you know, I want to take only one rock and take it in the composition and make it for minimalism. Because as you know, minimalism is minimalism. <laughs> I, I I always laugh when I see when I say this word because minimalism you know as I know it and as I understand it is all the photo will be like uh, dead space or something like that and there's nothing in the photo only one subject and the eyes go directly to this subject and this subject is only the main subject of the photo I wanted as I said I wanted to search for rocks but I saw this and I think it works perfect for minimalism. I want to uh, obviously use 10 stop ND filter because I want to uh, take all the information or any information from the cloud. There's somehow there's clouds and from the water. I don't want any information. I want the water and the clouds to be totally soft. So as you can see here, I will try to take only one branch or two branch or maybe for example this four branch together and I am not sure I will include the sky because the other direction of the lake is visible and I don't want anything to distract the eyes and that's why maybe I will not include the sky or the horizon only like this and that's why I will also maybe use my 50 millimeter lens with 10 stop ND filter and not ultra wide angle because as I said I am not sure I will include the sky maybe I will try that I will show you everything I will try today but I am not sure it will work if I included the sky because as I said the other the other side of the lake you can see is visible and that and this will distract the eye from the main subject So I'm using the 50mm lens right now and I am on f11 and the camera is telling me that the shutter speed is good 1 60 of the second. Now I want to to calculate, calculate right, <laughs> I want to calculate uh, how I can use the uh, 10 stop in, uh, ND filter without having underexposed photo or overexposed photo and I will do that with a program I will show you right now I give uh, I give uh, this program that I have uh, f11 and 1 60 of the second without ND filter and I choose that I want to use 10 stop ND filter it has I think five, 6 10 or 15 so I choose mm, 10 stop ND filter and after that he gives me the proper shutter speed which is exactly like this shutter speed without ND filter. So as you can see right here, this is my all uh, apps about photography, clear outside, photo builds. So I will come to LEE stopper app and I will tell this app that I'm using 
10 stop and the filter and as I said I will come to 160 of the second and he gives me that I have my shutter speed should be 15 second so this is the, the same ring which I was talking about the last video because also my ND filter is bigger than my uh, 50 millimeter lens take care not to drop anything in the water so before I put my ND filter I just make sure that I am focusing exactly on this small branch I will zoom in and zoom in with the screen I mean obviously not with the 50 millimeter lens so now I will put my focus to manual and the shutter speed exposure delay mode on timer on and I will try to give also one f-stop to shutter speed how I will do like that I will move from f11 1 2 3 to f16 and I will also make 1 2 3 exactly now I have 30 second shutter speed and f16 what I did is that I increased the number of the f-stop of my lens from f11 to f16 that means one f stop and that's why i made the shutter speed slower from f um, not f from 15 second to 30 second and that makes the movement of the water uh, softer and so this is i will have slower shutter speed and the movement of the water will be softer and maybe would be also better than 15 seconds And I'm, I'm still trying and I'm still working with other compositions. I try to take a vertical composition for only this two branch here. But I think this does not work perfectly like the first one because whenever I went down near the water, a lot of uh, information uh, inside the water, you know, started to be visible. And this is not, I think this is not minimalism because I don't have to have <laughs> any distractions and today I'm not using a polarizer filter obviously this is the first time I think I am not using polarizer filter because I don't want to take the reflections from the water movement of the water and the same at the same time the movement of the clouds which are reflected on the water that yeah would would give more softness to the water but when I will use a CBL filter and take the reflections a lot of things will be visible and this is what I don't want today so now I went away a little bit and I'm taking photo of four branches now and not only for one five branch with their reflection on the water and I will show you the photo right now So as I said at the beginning of this video, this is the first time ever I try minimalism and I hope I could find, uh, I could make good photos. Uh, I will check the photos on the laptop and I will decide which one works good for me and which one I feel that does not work. And uh, I didn't use my Sigma ultra wide angle 10, 20 millimeter because as I said, whenever I went down or I start to be close to the water, a lot of information inside the water dead branch or small rocks started to be visible and that's why I I don't need something like that in my composition and that's why I stay with the 50 millimeter lens and a little bit uh, far away from the water to let the reflection of the sky to yeah, hide all these uh, unwanted uh, details or unwanted information inside, inside the water 
and that's why all the photos which I took were with the 50 millimeter lens um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next Sunday bye